What's up guys, welcome to my home gym. I'm gonna be taking you through a resistance band workout for chest. Everything we're doing uses resistance bands. Chances are if you work out at home, you have resistance bands if you have any type of equipment rather than like a squat rack or dumbbells or whatever. Resistance bands are super versatile, so if you don't have a set, pick them up, they're inexpensive. This is gonna be a quick workout. Every workout's gonna be pretty quick. Uh, 25 minutes of actual work. We're doing five exercises for five minutes each. Go as long as you can and then take a 30 second rest in between your sets. Uh, just trying to get to failure as many times as we can in that five minute time frame. I am gonna get my timer set up and then show you the first exercise. So for the first exercise, what we're gonna do is just a press and a fly. So all you need to do is grab your resistance bands and put them around the back of your arms here, just below your shoulders so that it doesn't come loose when you press. All we do from here is press forward, and when you come forward, keep a slight bend in your elbows, and then also do a fly. Show you from the front, press, fly. That's all we're doing. Seems like it's not a lot, but hell, after five minutes, it's gonna hurt. I'm gonna get the timer started. Let's go. If you don't have these type of bands, you can use the ones that are tubular uh, with the handles attached. Those are fine. I have never used a set of those that hasn't snapped on me, so I really prefer these flat bands. They are just so much more durable and you get a lot more resistance out of them. If I'm doing something like this, oh shoot. With the tubular bands, I've got to stack up multiple bands, whereas with these, one band is more than enough resistance. And they come in all sorts of varying thickness. Oh gosh, all right, get to failure. 30 seconds of rest in between sets and stay hydrated the whole time. I've got my pina colada BCAAs. I like to imagine I'm in the Bahamas working out on a sand berm, taking in some sun. But really it's shitty out today. No sun, rainy. But not when I'm drinking my BCAAs. Whew. All right, let's keep moving. Make sure you're breathing, maybe smiling. Make sure you're squeezing your muscles throughout the whole range of motion. Developing that mind to muscle connection is so important rather than just trying to go through mechanical movements. Ugh. When you really focus on the muscles that you're working, you activate them so much more and you don't use other muscles that aren't necessary that you might otherwise use just to try and get through the movement. Arnold Schwarzenegger talked about it in his book. You just gotta imagine that that muscle is growing, and it will. Oh gosh. Alrighty. That 30 seconds goes by way too fast. Oh God, Whew. you know your limit, get there, it should be hurting, don't, if it's too easy, go up in resistance, if it's too hard, don't hurt yourself, we're not here to hurt ourselves, this is not an ego contest, we're here to grow together, oh my gosh, where are we at now, getting down to our last minute and a half, Going by so fast. Oh. 
If you're not breathing heavy, if you're not making weird faces at the mirror, ooh, you're not working hard enough. Working out is an ugly process. Ooh. Diamonds don't smile when they're under pressure. A lump of coal. That's a big old frowny face until it becomes a diamond. Oh gosh. All right, almost down to our last 30 seconds. We're gonna burn it out, and then we'll move on to the second exercise. Oh, finish strong. Maximum effort, maximum results, half-ass effort, half-ass results. You don't want to be a half-ass. You want to be a full-ass. Full-ass everything you do, including this workout. Almost there. Last time. All right. Woo, feeling good. Moving on to our second exercise, which is a chest curl. You're gonna want a lighter band for this one. This here. And all we're gonna do uh, for this, the easiest way to do it is to step inside of the band and uh, make sure that your feet are wide enough apart so that you have slack uh, when your arms are all the way down or that there's no slack. You don't want there to to be slack so that you don't have that tension throughout the whole range of movement. That's not the way to do it. All we have to do here is keep a slight bend in the elbows. Think about your upper chest here. That's what we're gonna be working. And then you curl it straight up. This is not a bicep movement. This is all a chest movement. Whew, upper chest. All right, ready? And let's go. If you need to lessen the resistance here, step a little bit closer so that you've got more slack in the band. Usually when we think of curls, we think about bicep workouts. This is a chest curl. The biceps of our chest. Ugh. So you don't have to smash heavy weights to get a good chest workout. Ugh. Oh gosh. Oh, this is a little rubber. This is all we need here. I'm already burnt. I'm sweating. Oh. This is one of my favorite exercises, by the way. I absolutely love chest curls. Oh, yeah. All right, let's keep it moving. Yeah, let's do this. Start this next set. Well, when I do, you're probably on a different time interval than me. We'll be halfway through this exercise. And only three more. Isn't that crazy? Only three more exercises. Man. 
make weird faces. <sighs> Breathe. Don't be self-conscious. I went through a long phase in my life where I was self-conscious and it did no good for me. I mean, I still have my insecurities that pop up every once in a while. But it's so pointless. Be happy in your own skin. You were made just the way you are for a reason. Oh my gosh. Now what was built beneath, we gotta uncover that. Put in that work. Reach your true potential. That's when you don't feel self-conscious anymore. When you're pushing yourself to your limits, becoming the best version of yourself. What do you wanna look like? What do you wanna feel like? Imagine you're already there. You might just get your second wind. What seemed hard before might be easier. God, that set was not easier. <laughs> I'm not trying to be your hype man right now. You gotta be your own hype man. Your happiness ultimately comes from you, comes from within, not from other people. If you're just trying to look a certain way to impress people, it just, it just doesn't work out. All right, last 20 seconds, let's burn it. Time. Cool, cool. We are on to our next exercise, number three. And for that, we're gonna do a hex press. So this is gonna be somewhat similar uh, to the first one, although instead of having the band behind our backs like this, it's gonna go up underneath our armpits. Uh, it's because we're gonna be doing somewhat of an incline press for this as well. Uh, what you do is keep your hands pretty close together and we push straight up at an angle. So keeping your hands close together, that's gonna target the inner pecs, inner upper pecs, some neglected areas. We're gonna try and get all of our chest muscles today. All right, timer started, let's go. I don't know about you, my chest is talking to me and it likes it. Crazy. Already on our third exercise. Two more after this. That's it. Put in that effort. Get stronger. Alrighty. Let's keep it moving. I do miss going to a regular gym, but COVID has given me an opportunity to be inventive and come up with some cool workouts. Never thought I would do entirely uh, resistance band centric workouts. It's just, for me it was like, no, I gotta be lifting weights if I wanna get a good workout, but it's such bullshit. Alrighty, three more minutes of this. We got two more, and we're done. Oh, 
Oh, I'm failing. Failure is a good thing. We learn more from our failures than we do from our successes. Truth. hard for me to talk. That's a damn good sign. are getting shorter and shorter. Remember, we're on different intervals. You go to failure. When you get to failure, 30 seconds of rest. And then keep pushing. Gosh, this goes by so fast. Almost under our final minute of this exercise. Remember, squeeze the muscles, slow controlled movements. Want quality over quantity. I got 40 seconds left. I'm gonna get down to 20 seconds and burn it out because I don't want to do a 10 second set. I'd rather get the most bang for my buck here. We're almost done, guys. Finish strong. Uncover that diamond that's within you. That's time, on to our fourth exercise. This one is just gonna be a decline press. So similar to how we did the first one, we're gonna have the bands wrapped up underneath our shoulder blades behind our back. But this time, instead of pressing forward, we're gonna press down. Maybe come in a little bit wide. It's gonna help you out a little bit. You'll feel it all in the sides and lower chest. I'm gonna start the timer. Let's go. You noticed I do not like to waste your time because I don't like my time to be wasted. Get straight to the point, straight to the workouts, straight whew, to the effort. Oh, so that we can get our results faster. Holy crap. I'm burnt. I'm gonna be sad when this is over. I love working chest. There's nothing like a good chest pump. I just feel like Godzilla walking around. Even if you don't look like it, you feel like it. What you feel like, that's what matters most. Ooh, are you breathing heavy? Are you making weird faces? Oh gosh, is your chest sore as shit? All good signs. Oh my gosh. I am sweating. Get 
If you've stuck with me this far, I fucking love you. If you stick with me to the end, ooh, then we're real friends. As long as you did not half-ass it. I ain't about that shit. Oh. 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 Shit. How you doing? You putting in an effort? Are you honestly getting to failure? Are you cutting it short? Don't cut short, don't cut corners. They're called resistance bands for a reason. It blows my mind with how little we've really changed our setup, but we're targeting every area of our chest. Oh God. We're getting so close guys. Almost there. I'm not looking forward to our last exercise. We're gonna finish strong though. I lied, I am looking forward to it. I embrace the pain. As long as it's not physical pain, but like a discomfort, like building, building strength kind of pain, that's good pain. Twenty-two seconds. I'm gonna get down to ten seconds and finish it out. You finish strong too. We're getting stronger together here. All right. I have got to change the camera angle up for the last exercise. Let's go. All right guys, for our last exercise, we're gonna do the tried and true chest exercise push-ups, but this time with the resistance band. You'll have the band around your hands, wrap the strap around your back. You can put it under your armpits or you can put it on the back, whichever's more comfortable for you while you're doing this. You can always go down to your knees. For me, I'm gonna use these wedges to help keep my hands on an angle because that uh, wrist extension or flexion Going past 90 degrees to me freaking hurts, so I'm not gonna do that to myself. Uh, do what you gotta do. Uh, if you can do a regular push-up without wrist pain, then you're fine. All right, start the timer. Five minutes of this, 30 seconds of rest when you hit failure. Let's go. Oh, I lied, let's go now. If push-ups are something that are just hard anyways for you, just ditch the resistance band. Oh god. This is one where it's not necessarily required since we are using the weight of our body against us on this. If, however, you want to add a little bit of spice, 
Use that resistance band. Get a little bit more bang for your buck. Remember, always go down to your knees. If it's getting too hard, you're still getting a good workout if you're on your knees. Oh God, I'm failing at 10 push-ups now. <laughs> One thing that's not necessarily fun to do is to do push-ups on camera when you're failing at them. <laughs> but that's all right. I want to suffer here with you and show my weaknesses as well. Like I said, no shame. You should never be ashamed for where you're at. Just know where you want to go and be proud of that person. That person you're going to become. That's what keeps me going. That's what keeps me motivated. Now where I'm at, but where I'm gonna be. All right. I'm turning dreams into reality. In the lab with the formula and chemistry. The memories spark and motivate and make the interesting shape. You put the bars in the place. I'm talking one, one chance at Oh my God. We're getting there. Sets are getting shorter. Uh oh, I lost my timer. The good news is this is our last exercise. We're almost done. Hang with me. We're getting stronger together. The fact that you're here with me makes me happy. You could be on the couch eating Doritos, or moon pies, or whatever the hell is your indulgence. But you're not. You're here putting in some work, and that makes me happy. Oh gosh, we're getting there. We're getting there. Down to our final minute. Let's keep it moving. Uh, whew, 42 seconds left. I'm going to let it get down to 20 and try to burn it out for 20 seconds. Whew, judging by how the last few sets have gone, I may not last 20 seconds. You know what? Screw that. Yeah, I am. Mind over matter. I can do anything for 20 seconds. All right, let's do it. That is time. And that is the chest workout. I hope you had fun. I always have fun, so you know I had fun. I'll see you for the next workout.